see your well. Now you said you went into the ring. You said Islam Buddha, right? I'm telling you, bro. The Bible said cry aloud. There ain't no secret what we talking about. We ain't doing no drugs here, no way. I understand, but you just said okay. you. Okay, okay, but you. What you just say, my brother? We, I'm gonna start over. Yeah, yeah, please do. Now watch it. Calm down, cause, cause my thing is, I'm not emotional. Baruch 2 and 30, future prophecy, it happened uh -huh. Pulling my people out of these churches, bake head and they clapping Woo. Preacher line, getting money, bro, we call it trapping uh -huh. Son of man, your how was shot, bro, he gon' be snapping hey. Told us who we are, now we know we read that uh -huh. Told us who we are, now we know we read that hey. We bid them back and build them up, put a tribe that uh -huh. Our precious people unto God, they never told you that Told us who we are, now we know we read that We're not teaching now one of the things. I'm saying it's one thing. I'm asking before you respond sometimes. You said you went into the ring. You said Islam Buddha, right? I'm telling you, bro. The Bible said cry aloud. There ain't no secret what we're talking about. We ain't doing no drugs here, no way. I understand, but you just said you. Okay, okay. What you just say, my brother? I'm going to start over. Yeah, yeah. Now watch it, calm down, cause, cause my thing is I'm not emotional. I'm not either. So I'm gonna watch it. Go ahead, tell what's your name, bro? Uh, don't worry about that. I just I just want to respect you and call you by uh, your name. I, I respect just, you. Okay. Taylor. Okay, Taylor. Mr. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. you're 56, you're older than me. 56 years old. Go ahead, sir. Check this out. Now, I respect everything you said, my brother. The first thing I want to say to you is because you said about the tribes, I'm going to say you're talking about the other nations and everybody wanted to do their own thing, right? We out here only for the 12 tribes of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, this, but, 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 hold on, hold on. Watch this. I, this when you, listen, though. When you dialogue, you talk and I talk. Now, I'm talking. Okay, yeah, yeah respect, respect, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Respect now, watch it. Read this right here. The book of Psalms, chapter 95. Verse nine, so like chapter, uh, chapter nine, six, verse five. Uh -huh. For all the gods of the nations are idols. For all that Buddha, Islam, all that, the oh, Bible, God. we coming out the King James Bible. For all the gods oh, of the world God. are what? Are idols. Read. But the Lord made the heavens. Are we talking about the one God, right? So, yeah, so I'm agreeing with you, my brother. So what you said, everything that they making up and speaking on, because like Quran means to recite. The Quran was created 622 years after Christ's death. So when you think about that whole situation, we good. We don't. So when you think about that whole situation, we coming out the foundation. Now, I'm, and when we come, we going to speak and teach the truth of the Bible. We're not going to add nothing to it. Okay. Now, what you said is everybody feel like, they're, they got the right religion, right? They would say, paraphrase what you I, I, I said, I said it became a problem where everybody wanted to have their own father of God, where they broke off their tribe. Okay. But how you gonna break off the tribe when all y'all came from one man from the beginning? I'm a church on which? Give me second answer. Six and fifty-four. Because the thing about it, it wasn't that everybody broke off their tribe. The Most High God made eighteen nations. 
and out of all the all the nations that he chose in one nation. Cause watch this. Like you said, we all come from one, right? Yeah. But watch this. Who was that lead? Watch this. Look at second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-four. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So we all come out of Adam, right? But watch this. We of him come we all. Okay. And the people Hold up well, out of Adam and the who? And the people we? also whom thou hast chosen. So don't you know out of all the people the most like God made, he only chose one people to be his people with. And who Watch it. All of this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Now you say who are these people that he chosen? Yeah. Give me second Ezra chapter five and verse twenty seven. Watch out. We're going, we going to the second we're going to the Bible. Watch it, read it. The book of second Ezra, chapter five, verse twenty seven. Uh -huh. And among all the multitudes of people. Because so notice he asked who are these people, this is the about it, are people that want to hear the word of God. Now he asked the question, did he walk off? But we still gonna give y'all scripture don't build. Watch it, read it again. And among all the multitudes of people. So his question was, who did he choose? Read. Thou hast gotten thee one people. One people, read. And unto this people, uh -huh. whom thou lovest, who thou what? Lovest, read. Thou gave us a law. Gave us a law, read. That is approved okay. of all. Come on now. And now, o Lord, why hast thou given this one people Come on. over unto me? To many, he chose the children of Israel. How we became to many because we went into captivity, man. We got enslaved. See, a lot of time, man, our people say we peace hate, but in reality, once again, they hate the truth. Paul said that God be true in every man of life. He has a right to go to the Bible. Because the Bible, give me that, uh, Isaiah 289, man. The Bible prophesied that two thirds of our people don't get, don't, not going to make it, man. He could have asked why I keep jumping around in the Bible. Let's see what the scripture says. Read it, The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 9. Uh, whom shall he teach knowledge? Here's what we're trying to do with our people, man. We're trying to teach them knowledge. Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? We're trying to give our people to understand it. Oh, school, how you doing, brother? Hey, you got two minutes to come out of this, man? All right, man. Anything more important than salvation? Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. You got to be weaned from your emotions, man. You got to be weaned from the rudiments of this world, man. You got to be fully locked in to the most high. Read. And drawn from the bread. Okay. For precept okay. must be upon precept. So when the brother asked the question, I'm giving him precept upon precept. He said, why well, I keep jumping around? Read. Precept upon precept. Uh-huh. Line upon line. Okay. Line upon line. Okay. Here a little. Here a little in the Old Testament. And there a little. And there a little in the New Testament, right? For which stammering lips. Come on now. And another tongue will he speak to his people. That's why this Bible is all across the world, man. Because the children of Israel have been scattered to the four corners of the world, man. But the thing is, man, Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 5, man. We're going to come out here, man, and we're going to prophesy to the real. We're going to tell our people the truth. Even if they don't like it, even if they don't like us, we still are going to come through this work, man. Ezekiel 2 and 5. The book of Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. And they, whether they were here. The most I got through Ezekiel were in day. Whether they were here, read, or whether they will forbear. Even if they don't want to hear this, read. For they are a rebellious house. Come on now. Yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. Notice when the time of judgment come, man. They gotta remember them brothers out there in them fringes, man. Trying to give an understanding. Trying to do what your pastor's not doing. They gonna remember all these things, man. What's going on? Brother, you got two minutes, brother. You listen to us, you know what we're doing. What you think? Check out though. All right, time running out. Cause right now, man, you gotta come back to the most high God, brother. I'm already winning. Oh, how you know that? I'm for Do you hear your prayers, sir? Now to thirty one. Give me two minutes. Let's just talk about this real quick. Cause you say you already will. I just want to reassure. Watch this. If you're willing, watch this. The book of John, chapter nine, verse thirty one. Uh -huh. Now we know that God heard not sinners. So the Bible says God heard not sinners. Read. Really? 
But if any man be a worshiper of God, if you're a worshiper of God, that means you're going to keep his commandments. So the thing about it, if you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High God, I'm going to let you say it, If you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High God, what is it? God is not sinning, right? I'm going to ask you a question. What is sin according to the Bible? Sin is contrary to the Bible. So what is sin? I'm a, do you know the biblical definition of sin? I'm going to give it for you right quick. I know what it is. What is sin? What is bad? Can you say you do something bad? Michael Jackson, you say he was bad. So we're gonna give, I'm going to give you the biblical definition of sin. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin. Transgress. Sin. Transgress means to go against. Read. Also the law. So when you go against the law, set your commandments of the most high God, that will put you in sin, my brother. So like right now, you probably wasn't worthy, so I'm going to just show it with you. So when you go against the commandment, that puts you in sin. I'm going to ask you a question. I see your head real shiny and bald. You shave your head bald? So don't you know that's sin according to the Bible? Leviticus 21 and 5. Watch it. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Uh, they shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Bible says you should not make baldness upon your head. Now you go going bald like I'm going bald. It's different. But you should not be putting a razor and, and cut your head bald. Read. Right? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Can you grow a beard, my brother? Can you grow one? You don't know. You never let it grow one. And I'm young. But what I'm saying, what do 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 something grow? I'm still young. It don't grow one. But do it grow? Yes, it grows. So the thing about it says, neither shall you what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So whatever grows, you gotta let it grow. You can you can line it up. But you got to let it go because the thing is, how do you separate and be able to tell a male line from a female line? It's his mind. Your beard is a sign of manly dignity, my brother. Don't you know all the two people on this earth that don't have beards? When is a little boy? I know you're not a little boy. Talk to me. Uh huh. I'll pray. So my brother, you do your research. You got a fire, right? Yes, sir. Continue to be here, my brother. We're not out here to condemn our people. We try to wake our people up, man. We love our people, man. I know 5081 and I'm out of here, man. Understand, man. We don't get paid to do this. We're not out here uh, to just talk bad to people. But we got to come out here and do it the most I got to do. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Oh, Lord. The most I got to tell us to come out here and cry out loud, man. Think about it, man. We are commanded to do these things. Come out here and cry out to our people, right? Oh, no. And when it comes to coming out this Bible, we can't spur your emotions. We can't spur your feelings. We got to tell you, best say the Lord, that when third nuclear uh, missile hit America, you're going to be crying out to the most I got to do. So he tell us to come out here and cry out and don't spur your feelings, right? Lift up thy voice. And that's why we speak with the microphone. The Bible says lift up thy voice. Read. Like a trumpet. Like a what? Like a trumpet. Now this is a very important matter, man. Some of y'all call it snails that don't even know it, man. Read on. And show my people. What does the Bible say? And show my people. And the reason we're not in Frisco. And the reason we're not in our uh, Kansas. Because the moment I God say come show my people. The majority of God told the people are in the ghetto, in the hood, man. They just show my people read their transgression okay. in the house of Jacob, their sin. We are here to show y'all, man, to let y'all know that y'all are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we are here to identify y'all sin. Because you have not learned this in this captivity, man. We love our people, man. And on that, I'm saying shalom.